Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. He's now making his way to the ring, and you can see how focused he is for the task at hand. Flores is making his way to the ring with such confidence. That is the look of a fighter who knows exactly what tonight's outcome will be. In the one corner, from Pensacola, the Gentleman! His adversary, coming out of Memphis, Money Flores! All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch him up. And we are underway for this scheduled 12-rounder. Way through round number one. There you go. A crushing two punch combo by Money. Committing to the combo now, both land. over that hook upstairs. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Two snapping jabs by Flores. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then... You have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Just keep working and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. Here we go. Round two is underway. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it.
Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Nice work doubling up that jab. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Money's hit by a counterpunch there. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Move! Able to dismiss it. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Super two punch combo by Flores. Forward, forward. Ten clicks of the talk. Hey, trying to go downstairs, but off target. As we come to. Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. 30, 20 seconds, maybe that's the impression. That you can score punches with your yard easy, okay? I need you to string together your punches. And round number three is underway. Good looking counter punch. Goes up top with a right hand. Focusing. Sound defense. Good block that time by Money. Well targeted two punch combo by Flores. Good step back counter punch. That. Beautiful. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Keep moving, keep moving, move your head. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Solid right by Flores. Nice combination, throwing more than one, both scored there. Scores up top with a left. Big, big shot comes crashing home. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. Let's go. Let's go. You can do it. You can do it. We can recruit from that knockdown. Let's do it. You got to watch the water in the corner. Come on. I don't know what to say. Just, 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 just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now. All right. It's
We talk about it often, but jumping out and taking a lead on the scorecards can be so critical. He's done so in these first three rounds thanks to that knockdown. Yeah, he has, but it can also hurt you because now if he starts laying back and just waiting for that next big punch, guess what? His opponent gets right back into the fight. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. He just missed that shot up top. Well, Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has their eyes on the fighter who was just knocked down in the last round. What do you look for? What tells you right away that you know what his status is? Well, it's two things. The easiest one is the legs, Joe. I want to see if they're steady, if they're firm, if he's okay. But the next thing is his personality, believe it or not. It's kind of like when you go out to a bar with someone, they have a few drinks, and all of a sudden they're a different person. You know they're drunk. Well, I want to see whether or not my fight is drunk. If he starts rushing at the guy, okay. starts Pay acting back. in a way that he's never acted before, I know it's time to pull the plug. Teddy, among the things that we should be looking for early is which fighter can show a wide array of an offense. Yeah, you don't want to always be coming in that front door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while. You know, sometimes you want to maybe even come through the roof down the chimney. You want to mix it up. Oh! Money's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. Eat the body. Miss the body shot. He returns the favor with an uppercut. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Locks a shot and pulls the trigger. And this round comes to an end. A round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a nonstop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. Keep the lead, right? Back underway here to live fight action. Tough fight to score. Very, very even. Closely contested bout throughout. We just have not seen the big shots from this guy. He is not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. And now he's targeting upstairs. Halfway into round number five here. A little head hunting with the right. Money's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Another flush shot to the head. Missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Oh, good looking two punch combination by Flores. If that keeps up, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by Money. Flores is doing a brilliant job with his head movement. He's employing top notch defense right here, and it's frustrating his opponent. It is frustrating his opponent. His opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. That will freeze up some of that head movement. Relax. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. That's it. Now listen, I need you to keep working the body. And when his hands drop, uppercut your hook, okay? The start of the sixth round.
Back to the head he goes. Solid counter punch by Money. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Money's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Nice. Scores well to the nice. head with the right hand. Flores is showing that he has an understanding about balance, about angles, about footwork. What does his opponent need to understand to deal with it? Well, he has to figure out a way to take the air out of those tires. Give him a couple flats. That's what he's got to do. And there's no better way to give a guy a flat than to go to that body. Well placed counter punch by Money. Nowhere close that punch by Flores. Blocks that low and then a counter uppercut. Scores with the combo to the head. Flores has got a little something coming back at him. A counter punch scored. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Good looking counter punch. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Money's in position right now to really bring home a good victory. He's up on the punch stats. He's up on your scorecard. This is his fight. Yeah, we just hope that the judges, and you never know that. That's one thing that sometimes can really disappoint you in this business. You hope the judges see it that way because I can't see it any other way. You have to take a risk. Don't fight this fight. Jab and Six rounds in the books, six to go. Teddy, I'm starting to wonder, what is the answer for this guy? Can he do anything else than this? Yeah, he throws punches, but he has no accuracy. Can this change in mid-fight? Well, it has to if he wants to win this fight. And how does it change? Well, you know, the problem is these things have to be put in place in the gym. I don't know if you could do it right now, but if you could, you tell him in the corner, hey, tighten up a little bit, you know, shorten up these darn punches. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Money. Flores' right hand scores well that time. Keep moving! Keep Halfway moving. through the seventh round. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Very accurate work with the hook there after fine, fine defense. Huge right hand comes crashing home. What a big shot. Up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. And that's the end of round seven. This guy is beating. If you throw three Start of round number eight here. Teddy has him down through seven rounds. But keep in mind, he has scored a knockdown. Folks would be saying, if it happened once, it can happen again. Well, that is exactly right. And you just said folks could be saying. Well, the, the only folks that need to be saying it in his corner, they need to be saying that. Get in his ear a little. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Money's defense has been just 
unbelievable tonight. I mean, Teddy, you take such appreciation seeing a guy putting forth his craft like this. Yeah, you do, and that's why he's able to have such a long career. That's why he's able to be, you know, so consistently good because he doesn't take a lot. He doesn't get worn out. He's fresh. The halfway point of round number eight. He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. Right to the head with that right. Come on, keep focus. Money's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Last That's round, it. he scored the knockdown. No panic in him, you know, he just scored the knockdown, but even before that, no panic in him. He understands how many rounds are in front of him. You're letting this get away. Come on now, this is it. You gotta make it a fight now. Close to this guy. The ninth round of this good fight. Money's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Nice job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by Flores. Throws a counter punch there. There he is, landing a combo. Comes right back with some Nothing offense of his own. Excellent counter punch by Money. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Nice strike after catching one by Flores. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Flores. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Good block there by Money. Yeah! Money's landed a good, solid combination. This has been an absolutely dominating. And he's doing it the way that judges like for it to be done, with clean and effective punching. Yeah, making their job a little easier. Deep breath. That's it. Relax. Let's finish this fight and go home, kid. Let's knock this son of a... They are back to action here, but that action has only favored one man. Completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Flores. And he stays downstairs. And now...
seemingly in control and now maybe out of control after getting hit there. But what you just said, Joe, that is really what's the enemy of his right now is nothing was coming at him. He was winning too easily. And for a minute, he let up and bang. Good way to protect the midsection. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. So accurate, jab, uppercut combination. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Very accurate two-punch combo by Money. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Money's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Good-looking two-punch combination there. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. He brings it right back. Big shot upstairs. And round 10 comes to an end. Get some water. You good? You all right? Breathe. Come on. You got to be sharp. You got to be sharp. On the inside, you're not throwing punches. You're just standing there. You need to throw more punches on the inside. Money's enjoying a comfortable lead on Teddy's scorecard as we start round number 11. Teddy, you've been in this position many times in your career. You know, what you want to do is you tell the guy, uh, the obvious is, you know, don't make mistakes. But go out there, keep doing what you're doing. One of the mistakes could be stop doing what you're doing. Don't just stop offense because you're worried about defense. Keep throwing the punches, but make sure that you're alert and make sure that defensively you're on top of yourself. Flores is giving me a sense that he really doesn't want to have the fight the way it was. He was stunned earlier, and now just so much more defense we're seeing out of him. Well, right now, what I think he has to do is try to get an Oscar. Get that award that those great actors get and not show that he's defensive right now because if he shows that too much, his opponent is going to know what he has to do to take advantage. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Use the ring! Use Halfway the ring! Halfway through this 11th round. Relax, relax! Looking Doubling good. up the jab by Flores. for him himself and it's a left hand keeping him honest with the double jab up top get your hands up Body shot. fires right back at him that's it money's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly left and right left and right Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like, going the decision, as you just touched on, has not been in their minds at all. Be smart in the last round. All right. And this is the 12th and final round.
Suarez's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. A crafty counterpunch after a fine defensive effort by Flores. Money showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. He missed with that headshot. Halfway through this 12th and final round. Nice combination, landing more than one. Both were able to score. And now the right hand lands because of the work done by the jab. Nice block. Flores is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Last 10 seconds of the fight. Well, you should have your judge's license taken away if you don't see this one the obvious way, Teddy. And one of these judges dare go another direction with this. I want their picture up on a post office board. Most wanted poster. Yes, sir. Well, right now, what we want is to hear those obvious scorecards, so let's send it up to the ring. A well-deserved win by Money. Unanimous decision, say the judges. You're going to have your eyes closed and see that one. Or almost closed. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.